My name is Anna Brown Ellers. I'm from Juneau, Alaska, descended from Klukwan in the heart of the Chilkat Valley. I am Ganak from the Whale House in Klukwan. My name is Shawakatlain in the Tlingit language, which means big proud woman, and I'm an NEA Heritage Fellow. Well, I'm a Chilkat blanket weaver. Chilkat weaving is is the embodiment of the Chilkat culture. What the Chilkat symbolism does is, is describe who you are and what tribe you are from, what clan you are from, and your affiliation with a certain region in the state of Alaska. Chilkat is our connection to the land. It's not our ownership of the land, but it says where we're from and who we are and our connection to that place. There are a variety of supplies I need to start Chilkat weaving, and one of them is mountain goat wool. We also use yellow cedar bark, which we collect in the springtime, and so we cure that in water. After it's cured and most of the sap is out, we use a knife and we cut it vertically and then split it with our hands till it's paper thin. And after it's paper thin, then we strip it like linguine, and we can use that basically forever once it's all prepared. When we want to use it, we reconstitute it in water and split it by hand on our thigh to make the warp, which is the inner core fiber of the Chilkat blanket. Once that is all done, which can be several months later, I take the warp and hang it on a simple crossbeam loom and then start finger twining. Once you start, you have to follow through to the end because it's not for you, it's for everybody else. Well, I wanted to weave when I was a child, but Alaska became a state when I was four years old in 1959 and my dad's brother Roy Brown was in the parade and he wore a Chilkat blanket and I, when I saw the graceful movements of the fringe and I, I just became intrigued with the designs and at four years old I decided this is what I wanted to do. Jenny Clanot got word that I wanted to do the Chilkat blanket weaving and so I went up to Klukwan and she started showing me how to spin the wool and then I took the wool and I went back to Juno and I spun enough wool to make a vest, like a chilkat vest. And then I wove the back of it and then I went back to Klukwan and she said, you're just like me. She couldn't believe I did what she said. So the blanket behind me is eight feet wide and seven feet high. It took enough materials as two full chill cap blankets. And all in all, it was 8,000 hours of work. The killer whale was designed by William Burkhart out of Sitka. They gave me permission to make this big weaving out of it. Starting from 1980, I've made probably hundreds of weavings, and a lot of them are gifts because you have to give back. I feel like by giving back to the culture, it's, it's going to perpetuate the art form. For me, receiving the Heritage Fellowship from the National Endowment on the Arts means to me that our people and our art is recognized on a national level and that's why I've worked so hard all these years to carry on the tradition and teach the tradition. I don't really think of myself when I'm doing my weaving. I'm, I'm just thinking of the people past that went before me 
and how lucky I was that I was born where I was and got to learn this. I mean, it's a privilege to be able to carry on this tradition.